Hello. Mm, what we are going to do here is I'm making the wall sockets to work wirelessly. Uh, you can control them with text message and through the web server. Uh, I will show you what we are going to do. So. Let's send a message. So we can send message. On. Like that. Then we can send message. Off. Then uh, you can make a home server that you can you can control this anywhere you ever are. So you can turn them on and off like that. Okay. At next, I will show you uh, the components you will need. Uh, so you will need a microcontroller and I suggest you use Arduino. It's like four dollars on eBay and it can do uh, almost anything that normal microcontrollers do but it's much easier to program. And then you will need a RF receiver and a RF transmitter. These are uh, one dollar on eBay, so very cheap and uh, four hundred and thirty-three megahertz. I use that. Uh, almost every device use that frequency. Uh, and finally, you will need a, mm, uh, a GSM device. Uh, and I use a SIM 900. It's a most common one, and there are there are lots of tutorials uh, to it. So. Basically, uh, these are all the hardware you need, and in the software you will need um, a home server. Uh, and well, you can use um, ASP.NET or uh, PHP. I use the PHP, but. Uh, the serial communications are very, very weak. So you may want to use ASP.NET. Um, so let's put this up together now. You know, so the connection diagram is on the description. So uh, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, there. Uh, this should be it. Uh, now that we have the connection made, um, you may want to double check it, just to be sure it is okay. Check the diagram and check your connection. Um, and um, the next thing to do is uh, let's plug the power in. Then, uh, you may want to check uh, the maximum maximum voltage your uh, circuits will take, because there are, there are lots of variety about these. <clears throat> 
and the SIM 900 board that I bought are just one of the many so be careful not to break your board uh, this one will uh, last uh, 9 to 32 voltage I, I'll give you uh, a link in description every part I bought okay uh, now we have the connect uh, let's first test the text message okay <clears throat> so there <clears throat> there are lots of libraries to Arduino so I su suggest you use those there is no reason to make all the work you by yourself so uh, i'll give link to every uh, library in the description so let's first test the text message so here is the code to text message it uses software serial and in Arduino Uno uh, software serial is 7 and 8 pin so we connect these to transmitter and sender in a SIM 900 then we just enable text message so let's try that let's upload this Remember to turn this on. Okay, now we should see something. Yeah, here it is. So it, it activated the text message. And it constantly checking if the serial is available. So let's send something in here. Like test. Yeah, it got it. My phone number and the message. It works. It works great. <clears throat> um, sorry, I forgot to mention earlier that of course you need the RF device what you want to operate with and in this case it's the RF socket outlet just uh, make sure the uh, frequency is the same one uh, that your sender have so in this case it's 432 okay now uh, what you want to do is you want to know the signal this remote is sending to control these you need to capture it and of course there is a library to do that so let's do that next so there is this receive library that is pretty simple to use so let's down upload this there now we can use the monitor to capture the signal if i press this
why it isn't working. Let's double check the connection. Okay. Yeah, it was a loose connection. So now whenever I press the button, it will capture the code. So what you want to do is you press each button and then you then you're gonna write your code down so you know to use it later and mark it something like wall socket one or something. So this is the receiving. Now there's a library to send. So we use that. And now in send you just put the code here with the mind switch dot send is the function and inside you just put the code uh, you receive it and you want to send and that's it there is there is nothing more to that and finally we're gonna put these two together to control the sockets okay So finally, we just need to put the code together, and the code is here. So it uses the SIM 900, and it uses the uh, RF receiver and sender. Here we activate the message, and here is the loop. So. As before, we wait for the text message and we check if the first character is O and if that is true, we check if the second character is N and if that is true, we send the RF code like we did in previous, previously. And after that, we will erase all the text messages. If the fourth first character is O and the second is F and the third is F, we gonna uh, send this code which turns off the outlet. And we delete all the messages. And this in car is set in the beginning of the code here. Mm. In the end of the code is serial for Arduino and that is used in the home server and I created the own variable to it. So it reached the serial port and if uh, the character it reads is V, we're gonna turn uh, the socket on and if it if it is the zero, we're gonna turn it off. And the PHP code is here. So first we set the COM port. Uh, you should check the COM port you are doing as plugged, plugged in. And after that, if we press the ON button, it will send the V. And we, if we press the OFF button, it will send the zero. Uh, I use this because the PHP is very uh, bad with the serial communication. So it will only understand few letters and one and zero. Uh, so I suggest you use the uh, ASP.NET. Uh, you can get um, home server in two places. First one is Apache Friend. If you want to use PHP, you can download this and use. It will make your computer as home server that will know how to handle PHP. If you want to use ASP.NET, you go to 
EES IIS. So this will know how to handle ASP.NET and it it handles uh, serial communication much better than the uh, Apache. For example, uh, so that's it. When you upload this to Arduino, uh, the text message work and the uh, serial communication works uh, with the home server. So you may just want to change uh, these commands that will control your sockets. So to conclude this, you need to put the socket in. After that, you need to make the connection. After that, you need to capture the codes. And finally, you just need to upload the program. And yeah, that's it. Then you can control your electric device wirelessly. Okay, thanks.